We've begun this question by listing out the two important known values. We have the average power of 75 watts and then the maximum voltage of 170 volts. And we've listed those two quantities right here. We're looking for the resistance. And we will begin with the average power equation. So we can see that the average power is equal to the root mean square current squared multiplied by the resistance. And it turns out it will be useful to make a substitution for IRMS. And that is actually where this second equation comes in. So let's write that one down on the side. We can see that the RMS potential difference across the resistor is equal to the RMS current multiplied by the resistance. It may look familiar from Ohm's law from a previous chapter. Let's divide both sides of this equation by the resistance value. And so the resistance will cancel out on the right side. So we can see that IRMS would be delta VRMS over R. And we're going to substitute that into our power equation for the IRMS. So now we have average power equals, and let's put a parenthesis here, delta VRMS divided by resistance. Make sure we square that value times resistance. We will go ahead and square both the numerator and the denominator. So we have average power equals delta V RMS squared divided by resistance squared times resistance. You may notice that a factor of resistance cancels. So you're going to cancel that resistance, cancel one of the two resistances here, so you're left with just R in the denominator. We are getting somewhere, but the question, remember, gave us maximum potential difference, not RMS potential difference, and that is where this third equation comes in. We can see that the delta V RMS equals the maximum potential difference divided by the square root of 2. So we will take that quantity and substitute it in for this delta V RMS. And again, let's not forget that that's squared. So now we have average power equals a parentheses delta V max over square root 2, and again, this is squared, and this is all divided by resistance. Continuing, continuing the journey here, we're going to square both the numerator and the denominator. So now we have average power equals delta V max squared over 2. Remember the square root of 2 squared would just be 2, and then this is all over the resistance. We can simplify this complex fraction if we multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2. Those 2's would cancel, and we would finally be left with a nice looking equation of average power equals delta V max squared all over 2 times the resistance. It will be helpful to finish solving this for the resistance. So we will multiply both sides of the equation by R. This will cancel the R's on the right side. And then we can divide both sides of the equation by average power. When you divide the right side, the average power is going to end up in the denominator. So let's cancel those average powers. And we finally can see that resistance is equal to delta V max squared all divided by 2 times the average power. This is the equation we will be using for parts A and B. We go back up to the question, and we can see that we are going to plug in 75 watts and 170 volts. So for part A, we'll say the resistance is equal to 170, was it 175 or 170? I'm forgetting, 170. 170 volts squared over two times the power, which was 75 watts. So let's plug this in. And when we do so, we will get a resistance of about 193, and the standard unit is ohms. So this is the correct answer for part A. For part B, it's very similar, except this time it's 100 watts. So we're just changing the power value. So we'll still have 170 volts squared over 2 times 100 watts. And we'll punch this into our calculator, and we'll end up with 145 Ohms. So these would be the correct answers to the question.